Hello, my beauties. I know I don't have as much makeup or look all glamorous as I normally do, but I wanted to pop on here and make a quick video. Um, uh, just something that I wanted to say for a long time because I, I think it's an important message. The best piece of dating advice that you will ever receive is be yourself. Yes, there are thousands of dating and relationship coaches just as myself. Yes, there are tons of love experts out there teaching you skills on dating. I'm one of them. Communication tactics, um, signs that you should look out for when in your dating process. And there's all these different skills to know, okay? But I don't want you to ever lose sight of you, who you truly are, and your ability to reveal that, the truth that is within you, is going to ultimately help you prosper in your relationships. And do you know why? Because we simply cannot attract the people that are right for us if we are not true to ourselves, if we are not living fully in our authentic truth. And there are so many tips and great valuable information and advice that I have created for you in a whole dating course. And it's things that I really want you to know. And I want you to have the passion on. I want you to have the self-awareness for it. But all of that information does not compare to the best simple message of showing up as you, as you are. Because who you are is fully lovable. Your true self is feminine. Your true self is kind at heart. Your true self has spiritual wisdom. And I remember years ago, you know, before I really dove into the dating and relationship world, long before that, but when I was just starting to get out there and mingle and even consider the ideas of dating, which used to be very uncomfortable for me. So if you are just getting into that, then I understand the bit of discomfort that it can feel, okay? But I remember beginning that journey and I was attracting the people who, I mean, they were great guys, don't get me wrong. Great men at heart, truly. Just had a lot of broken parts. And I was attracting my reciprocal because I, you know, I hadn't done, I hadn't had any self-awareness. I was still living in autopilot and I was attracting these men who didn't really truly see me or like me for who I actually was and who I am is very bold and outspoken in truth. I'm a very independent thinker. Um, I have a lot of different old school traditional values um, that I stand very firm in that are very set apart from most of the people in my community, at least. And so none of these men were actually hearing who I was in, inside. Like my mind, my heart, you know, the, 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 the woman inside of me that had spiritual wisdom, spiritual guidance from God, that was who I was. I mean, from the time that I was really young and decided to shut that part out of me because of, you know, the things, the, the events that had happened and, you know, ultimately the family breaking apart, I had shut that out, pushed that aside, pretended like that part of me didn't even exist. And then I had to kind of almost lead with someone different if I wanted to fit in. And so I think my point in telling you all of this is, you know, I coach so many girls who, you know, they want to have the best relationship outcomes. And that's amazing. I mean, I'm here for that. You know, I'm here to, to help teach you communication tactics that you probably didn't learn in your childhood because you probably also witnessed broken relationships that were modeled to you. And I love doing that. Okay. But living as your authentic self 
being that woman that really is deep in there and allowing that persona of you to lead, to lead you into truth, that's what's going to ultimately help you to prosper in your relationships. You can't go into a relationship as this facade of a person that maybe you think will um, make a man like you more. Um, you know, we tend to go into this sort of people pleasing mode as women. And we think, well, if we reveal who we are, then they won't like you. But that is not true. That is far from the truth. And I now meet so many men that I, now that I am speaking in truth and I am being who I always was deep down in there. Now I attract men who love the fact that I'm an independent thinker. They love that I can come forward and tell people like it is, speak the truth to them, speak light onto them. And they love that. Okay. So being true to who you are and that little girl that is deep inside of you that you have shoved away and pushed down for the circumstances in your life and for a very good reason you know we all have reasons for why this happens we get very caught up in the ways of the world we lose our child likeness um that playfulness that is within us all the things that we loved to do as a little child the things that brought us joy and where we almost had this sense of emotional intelligence like no other. We shove that away and we push that down and then we allow these darker, more broken pieces to lead us just in in a day-to-day life. They're leading us. They're leading our relationships astray, ultimately. They're leading our communication skills, ultimately. But then we end up feeling very resentful because we feel like we cannot be ourselves around this person that we have attracted while we were leading with more brokenness, okay? And the truth is, is that until you lead with who you are authentically, you may not be able to attract the right person for you. Because what if, yes, what if that person doesn't like that version of you? And the version of you that you are leading with is what they like, what they prefer. Because not everybody is willing to grow. Actually, I would say 90% of people are not willing to grow. I mean, there are planes of consciousness. And most people are at the lowest level plane of consciousness. And so when you have decided to ascend and gain more of your godly wisdom, you will definitely end up repelling the people who are not willing to meet you at that place. That's why if you are single, then I want you to be willing to spend time with yourself, spend time in solitude, spend time reading your Bible, spend time praying to God, spend time developing who you are because that is ultimately going to be the best piece of dating and relationship advice that you could ever receive. That way you can attract the people towards you that ultimately are going to be on the same wavelength as you are. I could go on and on about this, but like I said, I wanted to keep it short and sweet. So I hope this was very helpful for you and make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment, all of that fun stuff. And until the next video, I will see you guys next time. Love you.